Hello, Fashion Sewers, and welcome to FSB TV. I'm Colleen Geely, and on this episode, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a off-the-shoulder top using an old shirt. So what you're going to need are fabric scissors, a marker of your choice, a safety pin, straight pins, some elastic, this is about half an inch of elastic, and a ruler. A regular ruler will suffice, that'd be fine. The first thing you do is button up your shirt so it's flat and lay it on the table. The next thing is from the seam, I want you to come out seven centimetres, which is roughly about three inches, and place a pin on both sides. Get my ruler there. And do the same on the other side, and I'll tell you the reason why for that in a moment. The next thing you're going to do is going to be placing your ruler at the second button down, and you're going to go just below the buttonhole there, and you will mark that cross move it along now when you get to this point here what I want you to do just freehand it doesn't have to be that accurate and just gently curve it into the straight line you just done with the ruler and do the same to the other side. So I'm going to start cutting from one sleeve from the sleeve section and just follow the marking that I created all the way to the other end. Keeping your shirt as still as possible and just cut. And there we have it, we have the top part of the shirt cut away, you never know, you could use that in the project. And you're left with this shape. And the next stage is to set up your sewing machine, we're now going to do some sewing. So what you're going to need to do next is get your elastic and just put it around yourself and just pull it gently until it feels comfortable. You don't want to cut off your circulation, that's for sure. Just so it feels comfortable. It should come just above your breast area here. And don't make it too tight. You're better off having it loose and then once it's inserted into the shirt then you can always adjust it and make it a bit more um, tighter if need be. So I think that's okay. So I'm going to cut it here, get my scissors and cut. Right, we should be now at this stage. As you can see, there's a lot of volume there. Right, now let me explain one, one thing before we go ahead and start sewing this. The thing with refashioning a shirt and you want this particular style where it's going to be elastic casing and that is going to go through the top of the shirt is the sleeves. Now, <laughs> It's tricky. It's basically tricky because you don't have a straight line in which to work to, so it's kind of like a V. Hence the reason I um, just told you to kind of curve it um, a bit more to eliminate the straightness. So if you can, do a curve when cutting out rather than it being straight. 
and it just allows for a bit more volume into the sleeve area. So in order to fold, in order to create a casing within the top, this can be a problem when it comes to the sleeve area because it just isn't going to sit that well. So I've come up with an idea of gathering the sleeve slightly before we encase it in the elastic and that's the first thing I'm going to show you. So the next step is going to be creating a gathering around the sleeve area. This will make it look so much more prettier and it will hold the body a lot better, hold around the body a lot better as well. So put your needle down and all you're going to do is do a gathering stitch. I'm about uh, one inch, 2.5 centimetres away from the cut edge, maybe just a little bit more. So, now what I'm showing you here are the sleeves. So this is what you need to achieve. And so I've got two rows of stitching there. I know it's quite, I hope you can see that. Like I said, this is the raw edge of the sleeve. And then I've got one that comes um, one inch and 2.5 centimetres and the other also the same. And then you gather the sleeve so it looks like that. Just gentle gathers because um, this will just aid in it sitting correctly around your arm, the top part of your arm. So I'm going to do the gathering on this side. Now both sleeves are now gathered and then we're ready for the next stage, which is then the folding of the top part of the shirt. See there's a button. So we're going to give it a little hem and then we're going to turn it again just to make sure it's the right turning for the size of elastic that you're working with. It's about just over half an inch there. And then you're going to pin that in place. And you're just going to continue pinning all the way along making sure you give a little turning so you've got no raw edge that is showing. Just gives a beautiful finish, that's what you're aiming for. And pin. You can basically wish you feel a lot more secure in um, pinning in them base, but I'm just gonna pin and then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine. Now I've pinned all the way around and let me just show you the sleeve. See how pretty that looks? And I haven't even put the elastic in yet. So that's the effect that you're trying to achieve. So it's it's really is just straightforward. So as you can see, I've turned. And when it comes to the sleeve part, because of the gathering, it's a little bit tricky. Just take your time, that's all you need to do. You need to be in control, yeah? Oh, so it's just a case of just roughly lining and pinning and you will get that beautiful effect that I've got on the other side of the sleeve. Now the next thing to do is to sew the casing for the elastic. Needle down. And it's just straight sewing, just go Gently take your time, pull your pins out as you go along, and just take your time. The next thing that you need to do is then remove the gathering stitch. So you've got a gathering stitch here and the gathering stitch at the top. So as I've sewn the garment from the beginning all the way to the other end, um, you've got three rows of stitching. So make sure it's the gathering stitch you're pulling out top and the bottom one. Coming up pretty easily there. And you want to do the same to the top. There we go. That's great. 
And now we are ready for the next stage, which is then. The next thing you're going to need is your elastic and your safety pin. Insert the pin into the elastic like so and close. And then you're going to insert it into your shirt. Just pull as you go along. We're going to do that all the way until we get to the other end. Pretty. I've tried it on and I've made a slight adjustment to elastic so that's how much I'm going to be cutting off which isn't too bad so that's great I just wanted to make sure it feels comfortable and that's what you should do anyway and as you can see I've got two pins there so the next step is to button the blouse and then what I'm going to do is place them on top of each other and then I'm going to sew through all thicknesses so I'll sew here and I'll, put, I'll do a rectangular shape there maybe I think what I'll do here first is do a straight stitch to a straight stitch there just to make sure the aesthetics that it looks it looks great um, but I'm totally happy with the result and that is your off the shoulder top and there you have the finished look so make sure that you fasten those two together you sew those two together otherwise it's going to pull apart you know that when you try it on you it will start to gape open that's because of the elastication it just wants to go back to its natural form so you need to do this technique so that is what the blouse or the top now looks like it's amazing it's gorgeous well i hope you enjoyed that tutorial and i do hope that you go ahead and make your off the shoulder top using an old shirt it is easy once you get going just don't be too concerned about the gathering of the sleeve area. It, it will come to you as you sew and you will see what I mean by using this technique. That it can be difficult unless you do the gathering to the sleeves and it looks beautiful. It almost looks as though it isn't a refashioned project. Anyway, that is the top and it looks amazing. It really looks gorgeous on as well. So if you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comments.